start off this hour with Joshua in Illinois. Hey, Joshua, how are you? Oh, my gosh. Hi, Dave. I'm such a huge fan. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Well, I'm honored, sir. How can I help? Um, well, first off, let me just say that I, um, I'm, I've um, been reading your book, and you really inspired me to take more control and be more responsible for my financial future. And I was calling today to ask you a question about this um, student loan settlement that I've been offered. Um, but basically, I've got a uh, $42,000 student loan debt that they offered me to settle for $6,000. Now, um, with that, I understand that um, there are tax uh, ramifications that will incur on the remaining balance of $36,000. However, on my research, I can't find what percentage I will be taxed at. So I've gotten the contractual agreement to extend up to April 2021, and I need to figure out how much I need to save for the IRS. I see. Okay. And the, um, this must be a private student loan then. Yes, and that's one of the things that it's um, a bit shady, um, sort of what's been going on with the Navian student loans and, the, and my school that I went to. So one of the things that I'm worried about is um, the fact that I would have to give up my right to pursue any legal action should there be some sort of lawsuit afterwards. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry about that. You got out of $42,000 worth of mess you got into for six grand. Do you think it's... Do you think it's a good deal then? You got it in writing? Yeah, I have the contractual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And are you working? Yes, I'm currently working. And um, what, do you, what question, do you earn? I'm 78. Okay. About 20%, 15% of the difference will be your taxes. Whatever tax bracket you're in is what will apply. You'll get a 1099 for the, the amounts. Uh, debt forgiveness uh, it is a is taxable income. And yeah. so the amount, mm -hmm. as you said, the difference in 42 and six is what they're, the 36,000 is what, yeah. uh, and so if you're at 20% uh, uh, is seven grand. Okay. Another seven so grand. So about tax. seven grand. Yeah, so if you're, if you're at 20%, grand, if you're at 20%, grand. if you're at, you know, 15%, it's gonna be obviously about five grand. So somewhere in that range is where you are. You can get with your tax preparer and they can go ahead and tell you. But between now and April, that's what you're gonna have to come up with. Um, or you're going to have an IRS problem after you got rid of your student loan problem. Okay. Now okay. That's, that's assuming now, these bozos at Navient actually are competent enough to get the 1099 out to you this year. It might mm -hmm. take them a year to get around to sending you the 1099. Okay. And until you get the 1099, uh, I wouldn't pay any taxes. Oh, uh, okay. But I should still prepare for that. Yeah, thing, you though. need to act like it's coming because it probably is. If they yeah. never send you a 1099, then I would not pay taxes on it. Okay. I would only respond now, to the 1099. Okay. So, okay. And in addition to that, I have 76 in federal loans, and my wife has 30. So after I pay off this nine grand on my car, we should focus on her student loans, right, and just make the minimum payments on my federal loans? Yes, minimum payments on everything but your smallest debt. Attack your smallest debt. When it's gone, attack the next one down. When it's gone, attack the next one down. However, your budget has now been affected by uh, whatever you calculate your taxes to be divided into your monthly budget so that you're ready for April. Right. Well, I got the agreement to extend out my last payment, so... January of, of 2020, so then the tax ramifications won't incur until April of 2021. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good move. Yeah. Good strategy. Yeah, I did Yeah, I did that just because I didn't know if I was going to owe them like 12 or what because of my wife's income if we filed together. Yeah. But put yourself, put, put yourself put a, some kind yeah. of an email tickler in your file or something to wake you back up next summer to start planning for that, okay? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, yeah. Dave. I appreciate the advice. Yeah, sounds like you're being very proactive and very careful and very diligent. Well done. Uh, way to go. You're digging out, brother. You'll get out. You can do it.